Come on, come on. Anthony wraps up. Anthony Gordon geeing up his team. Mascots have broken. The UEFA banners have been removed from the field of play. The flags are being folded up as the players break for the handshake. We are just in the two minutes away from kickoff on Top Spot 2. Cameron Pope and former Lionesses centre half Jilly Flarty. We're going to go through the teams starting with England. In goal, James Trafford. Back four, Max Aarons, Levi Colwell, skipper Taylor Harwood Bellis and James Garner in front of them. Angel Gomez of Lille, Curtis Jones uh, of Liverpool, the wide men will be Noni Madweke and Jacob Ramsey, Morgan Gibbs White and Anthony Gordon who's had a new lease of life in that false nine role. They will be leading the line today, England as they were in the opening group game. As for Portugal, Selton Biai, the goalkeeper, a back four of Zay Carlos, Alexandra Penetra, Andre Amaru, Arsenal's Nunu Tavares in midfield, the three. Revolving around captain Thiago Dentesh of Benfica, his Benfica teammate Joao Neves to his right, and Samu Costa of Almeria to his left, and a front three of Pedro Neto of Wolves, teammate Fabio Silva and Francisco Conceição of Ajax, the son of Sergio, Porto head coach, Cup winners, Cup winner. Manchester United fans might remember him from the 99 Super Cup. Some strong pedigree in this Portugal side. On the bench too, some names to watch out for. Andre Almeida recently joined Chelsea after the end of his uh, contract. Well, Andre Almeida, should I say. Andre Almeida, the Valencia man signed for Vitoria at the start of the season. And Diego Moreira, the uh, newly signed Chelsea man, who's been brought into the Stamford Bridge clique today not picked for the start and so that speaks volumes to the depth in the ranks available to uh, Rui Georgia longest serving European under 21 coach he's been in the job since 2010 Lee Carsley though also has a depth available to him on the bench so the two goalkeepers haven't seen any minutes yet Josh Griffiths Carl Rushworth the outfielders Luke Thomas Oliver Skip Cam Archer Emil Smith Rowe two goals to his name so far Jared Branthwaite Charlie Crushwell Ben Johnson Tommy Doyle who's not 100% fit after he picked up a knee knock in training and Cole Palmer that's the England team everyone available but Harvey Elliott who's gone back to the UK for a pre-existing family commitment will he be coming back to Georgia with England still in the tournament kickoff is overdue now we've gone 30 seconds past the hour and players from both sides to a man take a knee the symbol football's ongoing fight against discrimination of all kinds the Slovenian referee has brought us back to our feet and just as in the group stages the kickoff has come too quickly and so Radia Branovic has brought us back into the centre once again Neumann Wake up and Angel Gomez pulling themselves back into shape there's a right smile from the referee and it is Angel Gomez who stands over it we're underway the tie seat the scene quarter final the round the destination that's to be determined over the next 90 minutes and if needed the next 180 120 those penalties I hope it's not going to go on for 180 <laughs> but have had the longest uh, ever you wait for penalty shootout in this very tournament we'll be hoping for none of that so Jilly Flatty alongside me on comms as Portugal throughout from the right back position down the line looking to find the gap it's not out of play Lee Carsley stoic looking on the touchline England jacket on all in blue as Portugal play along the defensive ranks it comes out to Tavarish what Arsenal fans will know we've learned at Marseille this past season and plenty of teammate meetings over the next hour and a half the real Smith rope left on the bench this evening Tavarish edging that ball forward into midfield brings in Koshta and the Almeria man goes back towards the edge of his penalty area Amaru finding Penetra who has Anthony Gordon to think about moves it out to the right hand side a minute gone no score as Portugal restless in defence they punt it long will be out of play and Max Aarons is going to be hauled forward into the Portugal half to take this throw which he drops Backwards to the feet of Curtis Jones, and this one will go deep into the England half. And the young Lions are about to get their first moment of meaningful possession. And, and how important is that, Jilly? You know, getting your foot on ball for the first time, especially when you've not been responsible for those opening few minutes. Just settle the nerves a little bit, bring yourself into the tempo of the game. 
Yeah, and I think especially for being a, for a former player myself, I needed to get past early doors. I needed to get a header. I wanted to get a tackle in early as well, just to it calms your nerves, you know. And obviously, you, you do get nervous no matter what level you play at. But it's always important to get a good first pass, good first touch. And it sets you on the way for the rest of the game. Two minutes gone. Still no nil as Poch will try and come through the middle, aiming for Fabio Silva. Or for big money by Wolverhampton Wanderers, 35 million three years ago. Perhaps not quite lived up to that. Lone spells at PSV and elect. He's playing in that central role. Ball goes back into the Portugal half and crumpling in a heap is Zay Carlos, the right back. He's holding the small of his back and the referee seemed fit just to stop play. Vittoria Man does pick himself up. It was a clash with Gordon that saw him land awkwardly and it was on that left side as well. I think Jerry his, his hat was stuck under his body too. Yeah, I think it's more so about how he lands. I don't think Gordon really gets much of a, a touch on him. It's a little push into the back, but nothing to warrant that reaction. So I think it's more about his landing really. So still goalless. One halfway. England on top spot too. Looking to try and pass through Portugal. It's been a steady start. Now with Bellis, lots of pass through the middle. England fanning out in their white shirts, the kicking front. Left to right as myself and Jilly look at it in this first half. Into Garnet, who's adapted well to his newfound role at right back, plays it up the right flank towards Madweke. Quick one, two, and now that sets him away. Can he look to get a cross in? He was serviced well on Morgan Gives White, plays it into the penalty area. Gives White cuts it back to Anthony Gordon, who's facing him away from goal. Come back to Curtis Jones, who puts it wide. But a good chance from England. Three and a half gone. England nil, Portugal nil. And it's really good build-up play from England as well. And it's what, what I liked about it was the fact of that when they got into the final third, they lifted the pace up, you know, the momentum, the tempo, it rose up. But it's, I mean, it's a fantastic strike, just wider the post, but it's a great start from England. So coming up to the four-minute mark, remember England gunning for a place in the last four. And he's under 21 euros. All their matches have been in Georgia and will remain in Georgia, but it's been co-hosted with Romania, a thousand miles away over the Black Sea. That's where... France and Ukraine will do bidding later on tonight to be the fourth contestant in the semi-finals. They will take on Spain. Israel decide on this half of the draw. Portugal again have it at the back and they're happy not to rush themselves. Penetra looks to roll that ball back to his goalkeeper. Shelton Biai puts it short towards Amaru. England coming out to press. Portugal forced to give it away. Picked up by Jones. He's 40 yards out. Can he turn? Looks out to the left-hand side. England now starting to advance. Aaron's with a pass into the centre. England still 30 yards from goal. Here's Gomez. There's nine Portugal men behind the ball to contend with. So he whips it out near side England right. Madueke goes back to Ghana, who doesn't panic. Goes back inside his own half. Portugal happy to soak up the England possession so far. Only one win in their group. Sneak through the 89th minute penalty against Belgium. We have had one extra rest day having played on Tuesday to England's Wednesday finish, but he Carsley, having won the group in two games, wasn't allowed to rest eight of his main players. That changes again tonight. Portugal unchanged from that final group game. Garner has it on halfway. Back into his own half with Howard Ballas, who picks out Jones. Still in the centre circle. Five gone. Into Cameron Pope and WSL record appearance held the Jilly Flarty on Talk Sport 2. England looking for space in the left. Aaron's playing it down the line. Now Jacob Ramsey with the orange boots. It's away from goal. And Jones, it looked he might have been minded to pick out Angel Gomez in the edge of the centre circle, but took a conservative approach. Brought in his skipper. Howard Bellis of Manchester City brings in Levi Colwell. The new Chelsea deal in the past couple of days. It's easy ahead for him. It's further talks with his club and one of many players certainly in a shot window here Jilly you'd say yeah most definitely you know obviously there there's been rumours about him obviously going and obviously he wanted to talk into the Pochettino before any any decisions made but again it is a great chance now for players to be in a shot window to see the level that they can play at um, and yes it's a great opportunity for them that's it his value can only serve to go up if he's instrumental in England going through in this tournament no sign of that happening yet six gone England nil Portugal nil Quarterfinals of the under 21 euros from Katsaisi. There's Garner, another member of the Orange Boot Club. What colour were your boots, Jilly, back in the day? I was just the black black boots, you know. There's not many of them. There's not many going to the traditional <laughs> route today. It's whipped out to the far side, England left. And 
looking for an inroad towards the attacking third. It's picked up by Gomez. Howard Ballas picks it up, but this time he's more advanced. He's 45 yards out in central. Arcs the ball out to the left hand side, looking for Anthony Gordon. It wasn't a great ball to him, but Zay Carlos was under pressure. And the Portuguese right back nods it out for an England throw. Seven gone. Still goalless. Here is Curtis Jones, 45 yards out. Far side the England left. He's robbed in possession. Gabby Silva, the man to win it back. He's now come out to the right hand side for Portugal, the far side of the field. But nothing on for him in red and green. And back to his goalkeeper he goes. Amaru, the centre half who came in after Tomas Arujo was sent off in the uh, opening game against Georgia and he's kept his place. And then we'll pressurise and win back just before halfway. The Madweke bringing in Garnet. Fringes of the attacking third. Near side the England right, forced down towards the touchline, forced over the touchline. It's good play by uh, Uno Tavares and out for a throw in into Portugal. Aren't they in a hurry to take England? He'll grow into this after a couple of minutes to kick off without touching the ball. Will be the Arsenal man to throw in from the left back position, which he does a long arc downfield. Portugal want the uh, flick on, and Fabio Silva will claim that's a Portugal ball. Referee sees it differently. Garnet back into his own half, brings in Taylor Harwood Bellis. Colville plotting, looking for a way forward. Spoke out in the press this week and the press conference. Gareth Southgate always watching, he says. That's the effect it has on the team. They know they're always being monitored and when he's not there, he knows that he'll have eyes and ears on the ground in Georgia. He was in attendance, Southgate, for the Israel and Germany games. We haven't seen him yet. I'm sure he'll be picked out if he does put in an appearance. But so far, England have held much of the possession. Good to show for it other than a flash wide effort from Curtis Jones after five minutes. Nine gone, nil nil. Defensive third now for England as Gomez goes back to Trafford. That's his first touch of this game so far. England forced into the left back position. The man goes down and that's going to be a free kick committed by Zay Carlos. He's gone straight into Max Aarons who puts himself down. England will play on, trying to play out of the defensive third. It's come near side there right now with Garner, but pressure on. Nevish forcing him into a ball to Harwood Bellis but England composed and playing away here comes Aarons that's a short man on halfway if he wants to use him opts not to use Jacob Ramsey slow and steady so far from England nine and a half played no goals they've limited Portugal to possession largely inside their own half centre circle now as it breaks towards Jones he picks up Garner near side the England right on halfway Gomez with a quick flick and a turn to get past Samu Costa. Could that catalyse England? Here's Ramsey, 45 yards out, stopped by a sliding tackle from Joao Nedish. 18-year-old Benfica man. Not be touted to be a big player in Portuguese circles. Scored an excellent goal to put Portugal 1-0 up against Belgium. In that must-win final group game, he took it out the sky in the 18-yard box. Has all the ability. Yet to play a full 90, though, for Portugal. As England... And the two centre backs trade passes halfway inside their own half. Ten minutes gone. Slow and steady pace. No nil. England trying to build on the left hand side. Can they get this ball across? Plenty of white shirts to aim for. Block comes in from Thiago Dentesh. A good play by Jacob Ramsey to bring that ball into the attacking third. It will be a throw in. You haven't seen too much of Portugal yet, and I think that's testament to England's holding. Yeah, I think as soon as obviously England get possession, Portugal just drop in. They drop into a block. They try and frustrate England a little bit. So England have got to be patient, but they know when to turn it up a gear as well when they get into the latter stages of the pitch. So here comes the England corner the left hand side. It initially looked to us as if it had crept out the other side of the uh, corner flag, and the referee, relatedly, has opted for the corner. So it will be an in swing up in the boot of Morgan Gibbs White 11 gone England nil Portugal nil here it comes bent towards the front post Gordon attacked it Costa got there though hands it clear and Garner well trying to send it back to the taker swings it out to the left hand side but it's too heavy the chance goes begging for England but, uh, promising again pulling the strings and getting into the areas that will make life difficult for Portugal but haven't really seen a, a, a testing moment for Selton B.I. yet in goal no, no, I mean, obviously, it was, a, it was a decent ball in. Um, Gordon obviously challenges, but again, it's sloppy just from um, from Garner at the end then, obviously trying to put it back in and it goes out of play. 
Portugal powering forward over halfway. It's brought out to their near side left by Pedro Neto. Looking for a cross into the penalty area. Gets a touch off Madueke. Portugal have a corner. Their first attack of the game. And it's the Wolves man who has won the set play. And Madueke has just pulled up holding his ankle there. But a twisting run from Pedro Neto to get past Garner. And uh, the ball ricocheted out of Madueke's shin. And it was just the follow through from the Wolves man that caught him. He's hobbling a little bit. Been an instrumental man for England in build-up play. No goals yet for the tournament. England have a corner to defend. Portugal have had nothing in this game so far. And still a goal yet to be conceded by James Trafford in this tournament. Wasn't tested in the game against Israel, but some key saves against Czech Republic and Germany. Will there be another one here? Here it comes from Pedro Neto. Bends it towards the back post. It's missed everyone. Kept alive far side the Portugal right. Speared back into the penalty area. The header away from Ramsey. That's been allowed to bounce out for a Portugal throw in 20 yards from the corner flag. It's going to be Ron Nevis to take it. England deal with the early danger. Yeah, I didn't know if that was like a uh, training set piece there that they've been practicing on the on the training pitch, but by the, the body shape and that of the Portuguese players, they weren't expecting it. Into the penalty area and cleared away by England, but only towards the edge of the attacking third. Conceição picks it up right side of the, of the Portugal attack. Tries to whip it in towards the front post. It's headed goal with Fabio Silva. Not cleared. Neto, great save. And James Trafford had to get low. To cope with the mistake from Garner, Pedro Neto at the back post. The chance was sprung to him. He fired it towards the England goalkeeper's bottom right-hand corner. And the Manchester City man had to be alert with a forearm save to push it around the post. No, no. Yeah, I mean, it's a complete missed kick, missed time by Garner. But that's what you need. You need a keeper there to back you up. And that's exactly what he done. Corner again, then. Still goalless. Pedro Neto once more bends it towards the six-yard box. Headed away by Corwell. Drops edge of the penalty area. Punched back in by Portugal. Cleared by Gordon. And then the long shot comes in and it's way, way wide in the end. Trafford will watch that one go by with relative comfort. But England tested for the first time. Best chance of the match has gone to the Esperanzas. 14 minutes gone. You're listening to Talk Sport 2. Cameron Pope and former England women's defender Chili Flarty with you on commentary. England's have a moment to reset and they're going to do that with a short goal kick that eventually leaves the area towards Angel Gomez and he's got two Portugal shirts right on top of him. Can he try and spin away from the danger? It's been brought to him by Conte Sao. He does that by rolling the ball out to the left flank. And Aaron's 30 yards from his corner flag. Tries to peruse an option. And Colwell, who is that option, goes short again to his goalkeeper Trafford. He's almost played England into trouble. And now Curtis Jones is inside five. Portugal players inside his own penalty area does succeed in getting the ball away and with the quarter of the hour mark just around the corner we're starting to see some frailties from England no nil yeah I mean it, it looks good when you when you can pull it off but it's a bit nervy there obviously Jones picking it up five Portuguese players around him but he manages to get out of it but it is risky play from from England but it just shows the confidence that they've got in this team they don't look panicked do they they're playing risky football it's that attacking brand that Carsley's brought and it's serving them well because Madueke is up towards the edge of the penalty area Area. on the near side England right flank up against Tavares goes down on the byline couldn't win that corner the Arsenal man keeping it in and Tavares were running away from danger for Portugal plays it inside towards Costa went to try and go down the line towards Pedro Neto it's snuffed out by England Madweke with a second chance he thinks he's been held on the touchline by Samu Costa referee and his assistant who was right behind the challenge say nothing doing and play is allowed to continue 15 and a half minutes gone in this Euro under 21 quarter final England nil, Portugal nil, the two sides doing battle for the right to take on Israel in the semi-final. That'll be on Wednesday night in Batumi. And if England do get through, that'll be live on Talk Sport 2. Developments still pending. Portugal loop the ball back into their own half. This one's going to run towards Andrea Amaru. Stands on it and rolls it almost parallel to the edge of his penalty area. Picks up. Alexandra Penetra, plenty of first team experience with Family Cow. One of those who's been getting time away from the big clubs in Portugal. Long ball sent down the park, but it's mopped up by Taylor Harwood Bellis. Portugal in possession, 45 yards out from the England goal at 0 0. Costa with a quick 1 2 with Neto, but the return ball pings back off the Amarillo midfielder. And under the watchful eye of Harwood Bellis, it's allowed to run through to James Trafford, who stands on it. Blue shirt, blue kid in fact, pink gloves. He's going to wait and peruse his options. He's not picked the ball up yet. As Lee Carsley furiously scribbles on his tablet, 
flanked by Ashley Cole and Dugout. As England once again will start from the back and this time perhaps more comfortably so. Portugal is slow to ignite the press and it's passed through with ease by England. Curtis Jones, 30 yards out from his own goal. 0-0 nil -nil on 17 minutes on TalkSport 2. Trying to find a way to pass through these red and green uh, ranks and it's a long ball in the end that does it. It pings off Morgan Gibbs-White. Run back by Zay Carlos on the right side of the Portugal defence. Edges it forward. Juan Nevis looking for an option, could float it forward for Fabio Silva, preying on gaps in the England back line, but England have forced their counterparts back into their own half once more. They'll come down the near side left now, Portugal. Andrew Neto and Tavares linking up, the Premier League duo. Back into defence with Amaru, there's Gordon and Gibbs White give chase, it's passed through the middle though, towards Thiago Dentes, the captain. Over halfway now into the centre circle, it was a heavy ball that evaded Costa, but it takes a ricochet of Ghana and Portugal have come up with it. Here comes Neto, 20 yards from the England corner flag, driving at Ghana, onto his left foot now. Path is blocked off the goal, Madweke's got back in. Played away from goal by Portugal. Costa forced all the way back to halfway and then Anthony Gordon with some real pace, burning towards Andrea Maru, who has to shift the ball, quick six across his back foot to Penetra in England done a good job of keeping Portugal at bay it's been a much more even game since the 10 minute mark 18 gone nil nil yeah Portugal really growing into this game as well and they, and they do look dangerous when they're on the attack but England are getting behind the ball and they're recovering quickly as well which is obviously stopping any attack going any further but yeah really growing into the game Portugal 45 yards out from the England corner flag coming down their far side right channel trying to fight through with Conseil Sao he's blocked off by Max Aarons Aaron's quick on the turn, plays it in towards Ramsey, who looks for a pass and finds one in the form of Madweke on halfway. He's got Gordon making a run out to his right-hand side. Madweke now into the attacking third. Now brings in the Newcastle man, crosses against Tavares. Oh, he's been unlucky there, and it's come back off his shins as he's come down that right flank. And just when England had men in the box too, it glances off Anthony Gordon and goes for a dead ball. So 19 minutes gone, nil-nil. Chances at either end. England's best one went to Curtis Jones after five minutes. Fired a shot from 20 yards wide of all in the penalty area and unfortunately wide of the Portugal goal. And down the other end it was the Wolves man Pedro Neto forcing a good save out of uh, James Trafford after James Garnett failed to clear inside the England penalty area. There's a man down for Portugal on halfway. It's Samu Costa. Only Madweke is uh, arguing the toss and is being told to retreat by the referee Rally Abenovic. We're going to see a rerun of it now. It was Garner who went up for the initial ball, and Portugal are claiming there was an arm in a tackle. And you know what? Looking at that again, Gilly, I certainly think there's at least a forearm, and I think might say an elbow from James Garner. Yeah, I mean he he does lead with his with his arm. Um, the elbow really goes into the neck, but I don't think it's malicious. I think it's just him getting up and, and, and changing for the ball. And as a centre half, how hard is that to jump with your arms pinned to your side? <laughs> we talk about a lot of natural and unnatural movements in football. That seems uh, as unnatural a move as any. Yeah, no, I've done it many a times. And uh, as the game's gone on, though, and refs are a little bit more mindful of it, you got pulled up a bit more. But you got to use your arms to get up, and you, it's hard to control them as well when you're in the air. But for me, I, I wouldn't say it was a foul. One thing to bear in mind tonight: we do have a video assistant referee from Italy. Now, you wait for a U-turn on that. It wasn't meant to be the use of uh, VAR and goal and technology as England player careful the ball back into their own defensive quarters and Fabio Silva thought he'd sensed blood but it was Nick Topping by Levi Cole well England with no need to panic in the end but nil nil after 20 minutes they'll work down out of defence and in fact they've gone straight into counter attacking mode Colwell is now playing at left wing with the ball at his feet up against the defender Zay Carlos Zay Carlos comes in tries to knock it off the England man and doesn't manage to so England have won themselves from nothing there a throw in 30 yards from the corner flag. No score yet. Even game. Colwell, having done his job, he says he thinks like an attacker even in defence. He's now gone back into his centre-back role in England. We'll play it back towards halfway. Talk spot two. Cameron Pope and Gilly Flaherty. And as I was saying, so VAR has been brought in for the quarter-final stage. There was an incident about a ghost goal in the match between France and Italy in the group stages. Italy thought they'd equalise in the dying moments to take it to 2-2. France won the game 2-1, Italy went out of the groups in third, and so it would seem that pressure is told. We do have VAR tonight, if we need it. 21 and a half minutes gone. No goals to tell you about so far. Curtis Jones, 45 yards out, far side of the England left, coming infield. 
into the path of Harwood Bellis with the yellow armband on his right sleeve he toes of all to the feet of Curtis Jones in turn towards Aarons more infield now Ramsey spinning and turning and finding Garner England playing with purpose if not speed now Madweke against Netu near side the England right at nil nil still 22 gone cuts it inside towards Morgan Gibbs White away from goal he'll go Garner into Morgan Gibbs White again he had a Portugal man right over his shoulder who's penalised in the end it was uh, a quick run from Francisco Conceição who but right in the England players grill as he'd already released the ball referee right on the spot towards the free kick which England will take quickly played out to the left hand side England attacking from left to right in this first period quarter final of the under 21 euros as Howard Bellis plays the ball to the left hand side and brings in Aarons he's got Ramsey down the line if he wants to use him tries to find him it's taken a ricochet into the penalty area and now Gordon shoots at goal first save for Selton Bi to make and it was a difficult angle for Anthony Gordon turned and hit it low with his left boot towards the goalkeeper's near post and the Victoria man smothers it without too much danger so 23 gone in Katayse England nil Portugal nil and what, what Ramsey does really well then is he comes in off the line and he comes in and he creates an overload in the middle um, which causes confusion between the Portugal's defence and midfield who goes with him who marks him who gets tight he was able to pick it up fan fantastic pass to Gordon but obviously I mean it was a pretty easy save for the, the goalkeeper in the end so still goalless England vying for a place in the last four of these under 21 euros and if it does end tonight that's not the end for England international football you can keep up to date with the Women's World Cup and our in-depth coverage starting on Saturday the 22nd of July 10.30 England women against Haiti also got Canada against the Republic of Ireland four days later that's on Wednesday at one in the afternoon England sitting behind the ball as Portugal bring it to within 10 yards of halfway Amaru and Penetra exchanging passes out to the right hand side as Portugal look at it Neto has now switched planks and he's running at Curtis Jones Jones saw it coming and just did really well to get between man and ball shepherds that ball out and it will be a goal kick and there's a laughing moment between uh, Neto and Jones faces that will know each other well from the Premier League but the uh, result of that one is 24 minutes gone England nil Portugal nil and a Trafford goal kick and so We've seen enough, I think, of both teams now to get a flavour for this game. And this is certainly the biggest test, you'd say, that England have faced. And if you're Portugal and you've just squeezed through with a last-minute penalty, does that give you a new lease of life? Are you, in a sense, playing without fear? Yeah, and I think you can see that. Obviously, Portugal are going a higher press as well. They're not wanting England to play out, and they're going with it. Um, but, yeah, there is that no fear. They're, they're really up their game as well as this half's gone on. Um, but England are comfortable in possession, and obviously the Portugal drop into a block as well, which shows how much they respect England too. Just shy of 25 minutes, minute mark. That's the thoughts of Jilly Flarty, former Lioness, his centre-back, as England uh, penalised Morgan Gibbs-White into the side of Zay Carlish. That will be a free kick to Portugal in their right back position. England man just overzealous in his, up, in his uh, actions to win that ball back up by the corner flag. He got an arm into the small of the back of the Victoria man. A few choice words for the referee from uh, Morgan Gibbs White. Got to be careful, he is on a booking. A few of the England players walking that proverbial tightrope. Jacob Ramsey, Max Aarons, Curtis Jones. This is the last game where those yellow cards will count for. Suspension, the slate is wiped after tonight because red cards will always lead to a minimum of a one game ban. Portugal have had one of those already. Centre back to Masha Ruju, bringing down a Georgian striker, clean through on goal, already 2 0 down in the opener. It was a horror start for Portugal. He's yet to regain his place. The man who replaced him, Amaru, brings in Penetra to the Portugal penalty area. There's a long ball at field and it's kept in just about by Francisco Conceição. But in his efforts to hook that ball back across goal to Fabio Silva, he's only spooned it out behind the England byline for a goal kick. So 26 minutes gone on Talk Sport 2. England nil, Portugal nil. And now see emerging from the technical area, Portuguese head coach Rui Jorge. It's the... Uh, final of this competition as a player in 1994 he was actually in the uh, runners-up squad for the senior euros in 2004 he was part of the team that played against Greece in the opener lost the game and wasn't picked again for the tournament as England will have a free kick on halfway Garnet a few times the aggressor 
so far in this game is in between two red shirts and was clipped on the way through Harwood Dallas 20 yards inside his own half 0-0 no, no. 27 going on TalkSport 2 England captain goes back to Trafford inside his penalty area has a few Portugal shirts in his way looking for an option happy to stand on it now the Manchester City man it's been 18 months on loan at Bolton and you experience and knowledge of the uh, senior game he's held on to that a little bit too long and England have played himself into danger they've worked it out to the right hand side towards James Garner there are lots of Portugal players in that penalty area England have managed to bring it to the right hand side and it's Howard Bellis in the end who plays it long into the centre circle up towards Gibbs White now a counter attack England coming down the right hand side with Madweke he's got options in the centre Madweke onto his left foot cuts it back Anthony Gordon moves it onto his left it's played wide played into the middle for Morgan Gibbs White but it won't reach him and it's cleared away in the nick of time by Portugal who just had enough bodies uh, in there to defend it away 28 minutes gone England with one of two chances in this game it was all Madweke's doing brought in Gordon it was played out towards Ramsey he tried to cut it back towards the edge of the six yard box Morgan Gibbs White was waiting for the ball maybe the delivery just off Portugal will clear their lines I'm going to get the thoughts of Jay Flarty yeah, I mean, I thought Gordon was going to pull the trigger. He then played it one more. You thought Ramsey was going to pull the trigger. He didn't do it either. But what that's come from is Portugal's press. England have, have beaten that, and that's when the space has opened up because Portugal committed so many players to go forward for the press. When England can find it and bop it around and get out of it, that's when they're looking most dangerous. And that was very nearly a different conversation we were having too because the ball went back to James Trafford. He had two centre-backs in his penalty area. He planted it right in the middle of two Portugal shirts. England very quickly zipped the ball out to the right hand side we could have been talking about what a mess England were making for themselves at the back but such is their technical ability and Lee Carsley has been singing their praises all tournament long they managed to turn defence into attack in about 7.2 seconds and we're down the other end but too many cups in the penalty area and the shot was not forthcoming it's England nil Portugal nil Cameron Popin former West Ham Liverpool defender among others Jilly Flaherty as Portugal pick it up in the dead centre of the field in Katayse Tiago Dentesh up against Curtis Jones. He's now followed by Anthony Gordon, but he gets the ball out to the left-hand side. Nuno Tavares coming forward. 20 yards in the corner. Flag brought into Costa, who's crunched by Angel Gomez. Wants the corner. We'll get the corner. Could have been worse for England, and the perspiration is dripping off Angel Gomez, who went hell for leather into that tackle and actually deflected with his backside out over the whitewash. It will be a corner as we approach. 30 minutes in this under 21 Euros quarter final. Israel awaiting on Wednesday night in the next round. And Portugal as well. This isn't a carrot that is available to England, but they're playing for a place in the uh, European the, uh, Olympics next uh, summer. If they can get to the quarter finals, the delivery is a poor one though. It hits Howard Bellis. It's going to be played out towards halfway by England's clearance. Mocked up by Zay Carlos. Tries to move it out to the far side right. There was a shot, it was blocked. Portugal trying to advance on the attacking third. Neves picks it up 45 yards out from goal. Sent him midfielder dropping deep to try and start the move. But England have 10 white shirts and the blue one behind the ball. Portugal forced to start again. 0-0. No, no. Half an hour played on top spot two. Nuno Tavares back into his own half only briefly. Amaru over the top. Fabio Silva chasing it. Howard Bellis heads it down and then away. Second time of asking. Flag was up in the end anyway against Fabio Silva in his attempts to win that aerial ball yeah mop haired Wolves man up against the shaven headed figure for Manchester City and so far England doing their business at both ends of the field they've been tested Pedro Neto coming the closest of anyone on the field to opening the scoring quarter of an hour in forced a great save out of James Trafford after a England mess up at the back. Here comes Madaway Kato forward now on the right hand side for England. Trying to cut into the penalty area. Goes for the shot and it's an interesting choice there. As he swung it with the left boot. It was way wide of the post and Jilly Flarty. There were England men in the centre. No nil. Yeah and I just wanted to pick up what Gordon done then. Anthony Gordon's dropped so far off of the back. Uh, Portugal's back four. Literally passed the midfield. Picked the ball up and beat both lines. And it's just, I mean it's... It's a disappointing attempt on goal. You'd have expected better from him. Um, but, yeah, the, being able to pick it up, England picking it up in those spaces is what is going to be the difference tonight. You don't have time to relax if you're an opponent. Or a commentator, to be quite honest, when England are playing in this way. It's a brutal attacking football. They can switch from one end of the field to another in the blink of an eye. You've always got to be on your guard. 
never quite know when that aerial ball might come through to Madweke. That's been the main outlet so far, but no luck in the scoring stakes, not for either side. 32 minutes, Cameron Pope and Ginny Flaherty on Talk Sport 2. England nil, Portugal nil. Place in the last four of these under 21 euros at stake. It's Colwell standing on the ball halfway inside the England half, dead central. Black and pink boots. And the game is stopped to a, a complete standstill. Looking for an option. He goes short to Harwood Bellis. Stands on the ball for a moment. Picks out a pass towards halfway. Morgan gives White the recipient. Garner trying to find Madweke. It might have been the right idea, but the wrong execution. It's swerved out of play. And at 0-0, Portugal will have a throw in. 20 yards from their own penalty area. We'll switch that ball from left to right and it's an aerial ball in the end they'll try a route one to beat Levi Cole and James Trafford had to spring into action nonetheless the ball was over the head of Nettie who was chasing it a rate of knots the England goalkeeper came out to pick it up realised he was a yard or so outside his penalty area to the left and just had to hop and skip back into more comfortable surroundings so 33 gone England tested but relatively comfortable now they're coming through the middle Ramsey 35 yards out picks out Madweke edge of the box down the line looking for Jones Jones gives White cuts it back Gordon oh brilliant finish and he's found the gap Anthony Gordon swinging a boot at the ball and he fires it beyond Selton B.I. England have been looking for a way through all night there's no discernible reaction from Lee Carsley down to the byline it went White shirts were advancing into the attacking third and picked out of the back stick. There he was. And the Newcastle man thumps in his second goal of this tournament. And as we approach half time, it is England 1, Portugal 0. Yeah, it's fantastic build-up play for England. And what I like about England is when they get into that final third, they go up a level. You know, it's the one-two touch. It's the Chris Park. It's the speed of the ball goes up as well. But it's a fantastic ball across the box um, from Gibbs White. And then we'll see Gordon's there. Finish it first time straight into the back of the net. No doubts about it. He knew what he was going to do, and he puts it straight in. So 1-0 England. They lead in Katayse. Trying to set up a semi-final in the 21 Euros against Israel, a team... Don't forget, they've beaten in the group stage already. Anthony Gordon with his second in the campaign. And Selton Biai, who holds the ball under one arm, hands on hips, looks defeated. Well, we've got confusing scenes in uh, Katayse because the Portugal goalkeeper was unwilling to relinquish that ball. It was as if he was waiting for some VAR intervention. And we can't think for any clear reason what that would be. But there is going to be none. It is now back to a restart, which was... The action we were all anticipating, so there was a moment's pause and brief glimmer of hope from Portugal, but I don't think it was taken seriously by anyone other than uh, Selton B.I. He's only had one save to make up until now, but he was well beaten by Anthony Gordon. Ball with his head in the second group game against Israel. Now it's with the boots, and he's carved open a lead for England. And Portugal, the mistakes are starting to come in, and he touched that ball along that back four numerous times in the opening 35 minutes they've played it straight out of play in a routine pass to Nuno Tavares and England with a spring in their step now lead by a goal to nil 1-0 nil, talk spot 2 Cameron Pope and the former Lionesses centre back Gilly Farty and is it true as the adage goes now Gilly are you most vulnerable when you've just scored uh, yeah, it is. It is true. You know, I've been on the receiving end a couple of times in my career where we've gone and scored a goal and then bang, it's straight down the other end. But I think you're looking at England. They look comfortable. You know, they don't feel like there's any real doubt in them that Portugal are going to create anything at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're comfortable in possession and they're going to be looking to go and get another one now before the break. Well, the ball was being pinged hither and thither in the Portugal penalty area. Gibbs White on the byline, springing it back to Gordon. That's why England lead, and they're coming forward again, far side there left. Aarons Jones picking out Angel Gomez, 45, uh, 45 yards out from the Portugal goal, and Angel Gomez was the celebration that caught my eye in the aftermath of that England goal. He was beating the turf 40 yards out from goal, on his knees in celebration. England, they're playing for themselves, but they're playing for each other too. There's a real team spirit about these young lines. Colwell just inside his own half plays a quick flashed pass forward over halfway picks up by Angel Gomez Ramsey in there too back into Harwood Bellis Portugal with 10 men behind the ball but it is England who lead by a goal to nil on top spot too here's Madueke 45 yards out from the corner flag springs the ball inside to Morgan gives white 
White boots, he turns and brings in Gunn. Back into Howard Bellis just inside his own half. Colwell left most of that centre back pairing. Splays the ball out towards Aarons. Just advancing into the Portugal half. Still hard to break down. The Portuguese Esperanza as the note. Gomez standing stop still on halfway. Looks to find the ball and chips it towards Gordon. Gordon has got gives White over his right shoulder. Might yet go it alone into the 18-yard box. Might come back to him. It's got a ricochet. Tavares is in there. And he just about did well enough. The Arsenal defender first to block the pass that was sure to find Anthony Gordon in a goal-scoring position. And secondly, to move that ball away from danger. And it's now Portugal who counter. England leading by a goal to nil. Seven and a half out from half-time. Neto down line up against Garner. Now Jones back to half out. It's the Liverpool man who takes that ball back. Moves it away from him with a back heel into the path of Ghana and England just effortlessly and fluidly once again in a position that for many teams would signify danger have passed that ball out of trouble and they want to look you've got Jones back there in the corner doing a back heel <laughs> whilst being pressed you know it's nervy for a, a neutral or a fan anyone watching it but they're so calm and composed they're so confident in what they're doing England leading to Anthony Gordon's goal a drilled effort 34 minutes in just 4 minutes ago England have the three halfway inside their own half and there's a lot of confidence in this side now they said they feel they can beat anyone on their day they have to be Portugal tonight Israel after and the other semi-final taking place at 7 p.m. UK time that's over in Cluj and Romania between France and Ukraine they'll take on Spain the winner of that in the semi-final and those are the teams that England can't meet until the final which will be on Saturday at 5 p.m. UK time and TalkSport 2 your home of the under 21s for as long as they're in this tournament and so far they are poised to progress but still six minutes of normal time remaining in this first half as Gomez stands in the centre circle Portugal half of the field got Fabio Silva over his shoulder England bossing up the possession stats at the moment 61% of the ball they're going to use it again to go long down the left flank up towards Aarons who claims in vain for a Portugal nick off that ball but referee confirms what we all thought Goal kick to the Portuguese side. Tavares at left back. His side trailing by a golden goal to nil. You're listening to Cameron Pope and WSL record appearance holder Jilly Flaherty. Here on TalkSport 2 as Portugal eventually switch play to their far side right flank. Over halfway they will come up towards Samu Costa. Braga Academy graduate slips the ball out to the left hand side towards Nuno Tavares. Just advancing into the England half now. Portugal with a one goal deficit to make back Costa on halfway in between two England white shirts plays a ball out to the right hand side towards Conceição who's now got to be up against Aaron crosses into the penalty area over the head of Silva away Harwood Bellis picked up on the edge of the penalty area by Costa once more he's turning can't get a pass away England will wrestle that ball back and uh, Ramsey goes down under the challenge brilliant play by Morgan gives White to get in between man and ball move the ball away from danger 40 gone and it's still England 1, Portugal 0. What I'm really impressed with as well is the England's defensive, you know, and it's not just the, the back four or the, the holding centre mid who's recovering. You've got the forward players tracking back and helping out defensively, and, and that shows the mentality of the team, you know. It's not just about, oh, the forwards score the goals and get the glory. They're getting back there and they're helping out their teammates. It just shows how together they are as a group as well and how focused they are on what they want to achieve. 40 and a half minutes gone. Just the one goal in it. Gordon the scorer, Portugal 10 yards inside their own half, looking to break through the England lines but again with all England outfielders behind the ball they're forced to go back into their own half and it will be Tavares near side the Portugal left, back to Amaru, Penetra with a flick of the right boot plays it up towards the halfway line, pass eventually goes towards Nevis but no route down the line for him the first time of asking will have it again now 45 yards out England looking to make a challenge Anthony Gordon trying to come in and block and the challenge does eventually come in and it will be a free kick whistle for by the referee the dancing feet of Francisco Conceição appended by Angel Gomez he will claim innocence to the referee but Radio Bonovic having none of it and just an 
reflection of pace from Conseil Sal there. He dropped the shoulder, got away from the England man, and it's a bit of a clumsy tackle that came in from Gomez. Yeah, but I do also think it's a little bit soft. I mean, there is initial contact, yeah, but I don't think he needed to, to go down and fall over the way he did. Um, I don't think the contact warranted that. But again, it's a fantastic position for Portugal. Um, it's a dangerous position, and obviously they've got to capitalise on this. So, coming up to 42 minutes in this game, England heading prematurely for the semi-finals with a 1-0 lead but they've got a free kick to defend it's a three-man wall as it stands Garner, Colwell, Harwood Bellis free kick is being manned by Pedro Neto and Thiago Dentes it's far side the Portuguese right about 20 yards the right of centre a good 45 yards to goal it would be impressive if they can force Trapper into a save from here it will be Neto way too high and I think it's gone wide as well take your pick Either way, what could have been a promising Portuguese moment, and they have put pressure on England in this first half. It whips away into the abyss behind James Trafford's goal. It's one of those, the home of a uh, torpedo Kitaisi, one of those with a running track around it and big gaps behind the goals at either end. So a long time in retrieving that ball for the England goalkeeper. Still yet to be beaten in this tournament. Spits on his gloves. Has it out in front of him, the ball, after 43 minutes of this quarter-final. His side leading, Anthony Gordon, goal to nil. Long over halfway it goes, and out on the full from James Trafford, a rare misstep. The England goalkeeper, Portugal throw, taking quickly, aiming for Fabio Silva, who's away down the right-hand side. England springing into life with Colwell. And manages not only to clear the danger, but to get some yards behind the ball and put it out on the halfway line. England 1, Portugal nil. Talk Sport 2 you're listening to. As the Portuguese centre backs recycle that ball with Alexandra Penetra. Zay Carlos looking to go down the line but plays it only to an England shirt. Cole will, bit of a mix up. As he tries to clear that ball away, he has managed to keep it in and Ramsey has gone down to ground in holding on to the ball. He can't do that though, and Portugal have anyway won it back. And forward they will come now. Dentes trying to find a pass through the middle. Portugal still 50 yards out, but they've got bodies forward as they chase England's 1 0 lead. Is the England man down on the far side? It's Jacob Ramsey who's holding his right ankle. He's now rolled himself into a sitting position. The ball has gone out. I don't know if that was intentional from uh, Portugal or another misplaced pass. But either way, the referee has sounded the whistle. And there's concern here for the Aston Villa man. So he goes down, holding onto that ball between his two feet. And I think Francisco Conce so well. He's gone in with a stamp on the top of the ankle. He's trying to win the ball back. The first couple of nibbles he had at the England man were fair really to try and wrestle back that ball but then he leaves one in right in the top of the ankle that's a not only a, a painful one a dangerous one yeah he didn't need to make that final touch either you know he'd won the ball he'd gotten out of it and he just seemed to to leave his mark on uh, on ramsey so he's got every right to to be staying down the way he was because it looked like he was in considerable pain with it well we're talking about dangerous tackles we've not seen a card for it and to my money i've seen players that have gone for that kind of incident don't forget we've got var interesting one we've seen james garner leading with an elbow into a challenge earlier on on samu koshta now we've seen a at best clumsy at worst extremely dangerous challenge and jacob ramsey who is thankfully okay england gave the ball back to portugal we've got 10 seconds of normal time remaining in this first period the lions lead by a goal to nil Tavares coming forward for portugal 30 yards out from the England corner flag up against Gomez. Gomez wins it back, but it's gone back to the Arsenal man. Now he cuts it into the penalty area. Hands a quick dummy. Dentes picks it up, shoots it to the body of Harwood Bellis, and it bounces away from Costa on the edge of the penalty area. And now here goes Morgan Gibbs White into added time. England leading. He's got Madueke in the centre. Can he reach him? Plays it into the centre of the penalty area. Flicked away by the defender, Amaru, and Portugal have just about got enough bodies back to see that home to the goalkeeper. Massive chance for Tyrell. England on the counter. The body's just caught up with him in the end. There's going to be no added time at the end of this first half a frenetic finish but it is England who go into the sheds with the lead the half time score England 1 Portugal nil. Portugal are going to make a change as we come into this uh, second period Tyler Bernardo the uh, Benfica centre midfielder on loan at Passos de Ferreira this season is going to make his way into play got experience in the uh, in the 17 euros and he's carried that on for the under 21s he's been brought on in the second half in all three games so far so this is a routine swap for Rui Georges uh, Portugal who trail by an Anthony Gordon goal to nil he swaps onto the field and the glare of the uh, board is such that it's hard to tell initially who will be replacing it is number four Sandy Koshner 
I thought saw plenty of the ball in that Portugal midfielder in the first half. So it's second half. Just a few moments away, it will be Portugal to kick us off in the second period. They'll be kicking from left to right as myself and Jilly Flarty look at it. We're listening to Talk Sport 2, and don't forget it's not just the under 21 Euros, and we'll be following England all the way through this competition. You've got Women's World Cup action coming up too, starting on Saturday, the 22nd of July, half past 10 in the morning. What a better way, what better way to start your morning? England versus Haiti women. That'll be live on Talk Sports. And then four days later, Canada versus the Republic of Ireland. Women's World Cup debutantes. That's on Talk Sport 2 on the Wednesday afternoon at 1 pm. So Portugal get us on the way in this second period. England leading by a goal to nil looking to book a semi-final appointment with israel a side they've already beaten in this competition it's a peculiar setup there are two groups in georgia and two groups in romania and they're going to be kept apart until the final which is why england will be potentially playing the same opponent twice in a, a little over a week but we've got to navigate through 44 minutes of football plus at a time and who knows maybe the dreaded extras portugal with just that one change bernardo in the centre of the field for Costa coming through the middle. England are unchanged. They have Trafford in goal. Ghana, Harwood, Bellis, Colwell and Aarons. The back four, Gomez and Jones in midfield. Flanked by Ramsey and Madueke. Gibbs White and the scorer, Gordon, up front. Portugal coming forward. Go for their 11 in a moment. Conte Sal with the cross near side there, right. Floats it towards the back post. Nephew heads it down. Dangerous one. Harwood Bellis has got to deal with this. He can't get it away. It's slammed into the body of his own man by Colwell. He throws an arm dismissively at his own defence. It ricochets in the end into the hands of James Trafford England for a moment all at sea couldn't seem to get boot on ball 90 seconds into this second half they are still leading by a goal to nil yeah it just seemed to be a bit more of a hopeful ball as well from Portugal we just hitting into the 18 yard box Howard Bellis doesn't deal with it initially it seems to get caught under his feet but Carwell's there to, to cover his centre back partner Anthony Gordon is offside just a step inside the Portugal half but that was Paolo Bernardo's first contribution off the bench. He tried to wrestle back the ball in the England six-yard box and then Colwell clearing the ball against his own man and thankfully of all the places it could have ended up, it ended up in the hands of James Trafford. The goalkeepers, they have a knack of putting themselves in the right place at the right time. 47 on the clock, England 1, Portugal 0. They're listening to Cameron Pope and WSL appearance record holder Jimmy Flarty. As Portugal try and come for the middle. It's they who have started the second half the better. Can't say south. Near side of Portugal, right up against Aarons. Gets the cross in a low flat delivery, but one that was met well by Levi Colwell. It's picked up 45 yards from the England goal. Carlos floats the ball down the near side of Portugal, right flank. It's going to go out on the full, though. Shaking the head from the intended target. Francisco Conce Sout. England will start again. They play it dangerously back into their penalty area, but no panic from Skipper Harwood Bellis. Gets up and under the ball and pumps it forward over halfway. Gives White will give chase, but. He's always going to be beaten to it by new Tavarish. Arsenal man. Switches plate towards the near side. Portugal right back. So Carlos brings it into the central midfield tranche of the field in Katayse. Wide out to the left-hand side now for Pedro Neto. He's got two red shirts in the middle. Cuts it back towards Bernardo. 35 yards out. Goes for goal. But team effort. Struck Howard Bellis on the right shin. And then clears it away. And say Sao stops it from going for a throw-in. He's keeping this... Portugal attack going, but it's lost a lot of pace. 45 yards out from goal now, and Thiago Dentes has pumped it. Cross field ball right down the throat of Garnet. He was at fault for giving Portugal their best chance in the uh, first half. It was at 0 0 when he failed to clear a bouncing ball in his own penalty area. Fault to Pedro Neto, who swiped the ball towards the bottom corner, only to be denied by a reaction save by James Trafford. And there is the Garnet, defensive midfielder by trade, playing out of position at right back, but doing. The three and a half games, a sterling job of it. 29 minutes gone in this one. England en route to a semi final appearance against Israel. Leading by a goal to now. Kansi South up against Aarons, 10 yards inside the England half, switches play out to the left hand side. And now they're attacking with Menace. Garner's a little bit slow to get over to it. Neto, best play for Portugal in the first half, puts it back to the edge of the penalty area. Maybe a floating ball in from Paulo Bernardo. Colwell got underneath it, heads it away. Only as far as Conce Saldo. Near side of Portugal right, edge of the area. Blocked off by Ramsey. 
but it ricochets again to a Portugal man. They're getting the rub of the green so far in the opening five minutes of this second half. Score still in England's favour. One nil the lead from the Anthony Gordon strike after just over half an hour. But it is Rui Georges' side who was sprightly in this second period in the 21 Euros quarter final. Conceição near side the Portugal right cuts in and field into Thiago Gentes, diminutive captain. With the red boots, he turns and flicks out to the near side Portugal right. The Portuguese still holding the ball. Conceição with a deft chip, taken away from Ramsey. So Portugal holding the possession in this uh, second period, the early part of it, but not been able to do too much with it. England bumbling at the back for a moment with a misclearance opportunity from Cole Woolworth, made to pay, but they're still on the defensive now. Francisco Conte Sal, he goes down sandwiched between two England players, Aarons and Ramsey. Yellow card has come out for Max Aarons, and that means that should England progress, Norwich City man will not be playing a part of the semi final against Israel. Uh, I think he'll be disappointed as well, as well, obviously. I mean, it's a silly challenge to make. I mean, Portuguese player does very well here, but it's, it's a 2v1. You just need to stand up. He goes through and he just leaves his leg in. He doesn't need to do that, but again, for Portugal, it's a very dangerous position and they have to make the most of it. He's clever there, isn't he? Francisco Conceição is the most experienced in this Portugal team at under-21 level, and I think he knew what he was doing there, and he bought it well. That's uh, the words of Gilly Flarty, former Lionesses centre-half. Well, he was smart in winning the foul, Conceição. But there is a pause, because the Portugal man is down. The uh, medical staff are on, just flexing that knee to make sure he's OK, but the lie of the land is thus. 51 minutes gone. England won, Portugal nil, but it's Portugal who started better. Second half in Kataisi, Shengelia Arena. Israel awaits on Wednesday night in the semi final. That will be live on Talksport 2. Should England get there? And if they do get there, they will be without the suspended Max Aaron. So there have been plenty of options at fullback. And Thomas in the ranks. Ben Johnson played on both flanks so far. But right now, a more pressing matter is that Portugal will have a free kick. Pedro Neto is going to stand over it. 10 yards infield, near side of Portugal right. And Weke with the one man wall. It's going to be a left footed in swing. Back on the word, a hit trick towards him. Goalkeeper stands up strong and punches away with two fists. Comes back in from Neto, deep towards the back post. Nicked away by Ramsey, who will chase after it. And he's got it just the right side of the corner flag. It will be a Portugal throw in. And England leave 1 0. I mean, it's, it's a dangerous ball into the box, but what you're really hoping for is a Portuguese player to really get across the front of traffic, which they don't do. You know, it's a simple punch out in the end, but you'd be expecting more from Portugal in that area. Nobody had more clean sheets in League One last season than James Trafford, and he stood to the test once again. Still, only tested in parts. England have done a good job of keeping Portugal out. Remains 1 0 to the young lines in the ball. He's now gone the whole length of the field back to Selton Bi, beaten after 34 minutes by Anthony Gordon's strike, second of the tournament. But England on the defensive again. Top spot two you're listening to. is Netty halfway inside the England half. Tries to run at Manwaken. Shares a pass with Paolo Bernardo. Could have given it in back. Opts to keep it for himself. Goes back up the line towards Tavarish. Netty trying to catalyze a move, Curtis Jones. Aiming to block off the passing angles, but he hasn't succeeded. Portugal still far side that left flank. Just away from the England penalty area, though. They'll come now down the right. Conseil South, 30 yards from the corner flag. Up against Aarons. England man on the yellow card has to be careful. Played in, 1-2 opportunity. Conseil South chasing after it. Aarons has got their first goal down to ground. Untidy challenge, but one that he managed to execute cleanly enough. And he's won a goal kick. England leading in the second half by a goal to nil. It's a tasty uh, affair over there, isn't it, between uh, Conceição and Max Aarons. But he's going to be playing on that as well because he knows he's on a yellow card. You know, obviously, whether or not he knows he's suspended for the next game, but he knows he's on a yellow. But he's looking dangerous for Portugal, uh, Conceição. He's getting the ball, he's driving it, he's really bringing Portugal higher up the pitch as well. But Max Aarons just needs to be careful on that uh, left-hand side. Tilly Flarty there, from uh, Liverpool, West Ham centre-back. England leading by a goal to after 54 minutes. And if you're Lee Carsley now, Julie, do you just go for broke and you get rid of, of Max Aarons knowing he's not going to be a part and that he's carrying the risk on that yellow card? And do you opt for someone like Ben Johnson? 
Yeah, potentially. I think, like you just seen the challenge there. If Conte starts playing on him now, you don't want to look, go down to ten to ten players. So yeah, would be sensible option to potentially bring Johnson on, for example, when you know you don't have him available wear into the next game either. England with a wealth of options at their disposal. Still got all three substitution breaks to use. Five players can be brought on, but it's Portugal attacking once again. Aaron's get to toe in on Conte South. It's a real running battle between the two of them. Portugal won the throw, but they opt to go away from goal with it. So 55 gone. England won. Portugal nil. Quarter finals of the UEFA European Under 21 Championship. England in the knockouts for just the second time in seven tournaments. They did a perfect record in the group stage. Record that's been tested tonight. It still remains in check. Conte Sal again. Catalyst so much in this second half. Down the line he goes. Near side the Portugal right looking for Nevish. Back to him on the left foot. Gets across him towards the back post. And Howard Bellis, that could have gone anywhere. England captain rises highest of all. Manages to flick it beyond his far post and looks comfortable enough as he stands, hands on hips in his uh, six yard box. It's gone for a corner. England lead by a goal to nil. And it's Conseil Sal again. He's picking the ball up. He's been so dangerous in this second half. Gets the ball, cuts inside his left foot and whips the ball in, which obviously Harwood Bellis does well to deal with as well and flips it behind at the danger. Here comes the corner then. 55 and a half minutes gone. England leading. Nessie with the delivery. Bends it out, swing it away from goal. Takes a nick of the first Portugal man, but Gordon is there in the 18 yard box to head clear. Portugal coming back and they've got a man on the near side. Attacking now on the right. We can see Sal, and this time he bends one, but it's way over the bar. Out on the fault. It will be a goal kick, but Francisco Conceição is the danger man for sure in the second period as Lee Carsley looks on, arms crossed behind his back. His young lines have been tested a little more in the second period. And they have the upper hand by just the one goal, the slender lead. Scored with ten minutes to go in the first half by Anthony Gordon. Portugal not going down without a fight. Won just one game to this point, the Portuguese. The snookers in their final game are in the last eight. Courtesy of a last minute converted penalty against Belgium that put them through at the expense of the Netherlands. They were tipped as one of the favourites at the start of the tournament. Their start has rather waned. And Strafford kicked high into the Georgian sky. It's been put out with plate in the centre of the park by Joan Nevis, right and halfway. Missed ball from him. So Aaron's playing on for now despite that yellow card. No changes yet from Lee Carsley. Out with the blue tracksuit, white trainers in his technical area. No sign of Rui Jorge, his Portuguese counterpart. An exchange of friends has seen Portugal traded the ball back. To ring and fail to use the uh, set play to their advantage. Portugal will be sent back 20 yards inside their own half. Trying to steal a few yards with Zay Carlos there. And switch the ball from right to left. Listening to Talk Sport 2. The home of. The Lionesses in the upcoming Women's World Cup and tonight the home of the Young Lions who are leading Portugal and gunning for a place in the last sport of the under 21 Euros. It's a tournament they haven't won since 1984. Name on the trophy twice but not since then. Portugal three times runners up. Most of any side not to win it. They've reached two of the last four finals. They'll come through the middle now, 40 yards out. They've won a free kick because England not quick enough on the uptake. The referee has come across and he's blowing his little furiously because he wants the ball back now. And England players haven't taken too kindly to the referee's whistle. And they were taking a while to relinquish that ball back. It was a high boot that did it. Levi Cole jumping in on a nevish. And now the side wanting to stop early with a war of words. 58 gone. Players have been dispersed. England leading by a goal to nil. Portugal switch near side, the right to far side, their left. Ball will come now, looking for Neto. He's got options in the middle, but England have men back. Back to Tavares. 30 yards from the England corner flag. And Lions in the lead. Crossed him towards the front post and headed down into the ground. It's Paulo Bernardo, but flat across the face of goal, and ultimately wide of the mark. England tested again. Portugal are finding more room in between the England lines. 58 and a half minutes gone from Patoisi. England won, Portugal nil. Yeah, I mean, Portugal, in my opinion, have been the better team in the second half. You know, they're looking very dangerous. They're looking like they're going to get a goal. And so England need to change something. They need to, to whether it be the, they get a bit more pressure on Conte Sal or they get a little bit higher up the pitch as well. But they need to change that before Portugal get back into the game. England's high up team football continues. The problem is it's been at the wrong end of the field so far. They've played out again from a Trafford goal kick. Curtis Jones spends off three Portugal shirts before bringing in Aaron's near side the England left. 
And he's 30 yards from the corner flag and he uses every inch of pitch available to roll it down the touch line to Ramsey. And now England are on the counter attack. They've not seen much of the Portugal goal this time. Forward comes Ramsey, puts it back to the edge of the penalty area. Gordon looking for a shout from Madweke on the far side. Can't get it across to him. It's a block of a Portuguese man. And it's dumped clear in the end by Alexandra Penetra. And England's have to call that from with the best attacker of the second half comes to nothing. They've not really been able to get into their strike. No, and you look at when Ramsey picks that ball up, he's only got Gordon ahead of him. Everyone else is behind the ball. They need to get up higher. They need to support the player on the ball. But, yes, yeah, the only bright spark, really, that England have had in the second half so far. And what is this? Is it, is it nerves? Is it fatigue? Or are we taking credit away from Portugal there? Have they just upped their game since half-time? No, I think Portugal have upped their game. You know, I think whether they've gone in at half-time and the manager said, listen, it's a knockout, you know, you need to, to turn up for the game, you need to be a bit more braver, but... Yeah, England are just getting hit by, by Portugal's momentum at the moment. Words of Jilly Flarty, former Lionesses centre-half here on TalkSport 2. An hour gone in the quarter-final of these under-21 Euros. England leading Portugal by a goal to nil. Scored at the end of the first half by Anthony Gordon, but England on the ropes in the second period as an aerial ball is headed away by Harwood Bellis. Picked up by Madueke, 20 yards inside his own half. Immediately stopped in the, the centre circle by Juan Nevis. 18 year old sprays the ball out to the left hand side and now Pedro Neto, everything seems to be coming through the flanks, he whips it across towards the edge of the back of the penalty area, Fabio Silva's gone down in the penalty box, and well he's been penalised, free kick to England, and when the referee's whistle in his mouth, my heart was in my mouth for a moment there, there was a confrontation between him and an England defender Silva ended up on the deck, it was a lovely ball switched out by Neto to bring in Conceição on the corner of the penalty area, and Portugal have wasted a good attack, England free kick and the young Lions lead by a goal to nil Yeah, I was a bit nervous as well with you, I was thinking what way is he going to point his, uh, his hand um, but for Carl Will he, he gets the decision for him um, but yeah Portugal looked frustrated but yeah thankfully it went in the way of England it was not the ball incident and both players looked to have arms on each other I think the Portugal man was the aggressor and it takes a lot to bring Levi Colwell down to ground but he managed it and the referee he doesn't seem to suffer fools gladly and he's only happy to award the free kick to Lee Carsley's side 28 and a half minutes of normal time remaining Shangelia Arena England a goal to the good courtesy of Anthony Gordon still playing with that starting 11 no changes made from the bench yet as they come forward with Ramsey 10 yards inside the Portugal half gives it to the scorer Gordon jutting in from the left flank on 10 yards from the edge of the penalty area but there's nothing on going forward so he brings in Curtis Jones England forced back inside their own half Colwell into Harwood Bellis and over halfway towards Morgan Gibbs White turns and effortlessly slips the ball out to the right hand side here comes Madweke trying to find a crossing route into the penalty area up against Tavarish forced away from goal once again 62 gone England leading just by a goal to nil they're being tested in the second period Angel Gomez 45 yards out from goal over his right shoulder towards Ghana Madweke helping him out but no room for him to get past Tavares has to go back to halfway when you keep possession something they haven't had a lot of in meaningful areas in the second period trying to come forward through the middle of Ramsey who's pulled down to ground and a free kick committed by the coach for number 13 Zay Carlos one he didn't really need to commit because there were few options for Ramsey as he got through the lines still 50 yards out from goal and a few choice words from uh, the Aston Villa man who was in the walls in the first half too it's a minute number 64 England in the lead but not as much good value for it as they were in the first period as Harwood Bellis plots a pass to Garner on halfway put under pressure by Paolo Bernardo it's down the line far side the England right towards Madweke goes down puts himself up under the challenge of uh, Tavares referee said nothing doing but Portugal have won it back and it's played out to the right hand side picked up by Conceição now up against Aarons, England man on the yellow card, can't jump in, tries to force him down the line, Conte Sal gets across, but he's too close to Trafford, easy gather for the England goalkeeper, who drops down, first onto his uh, haunches and then flat onto the ground, 63 and a half minutes gone, and it's England 1, Portugal 0. I think Aarons does really well there, you know, it's going to be in, the, in his mind that he's on the yellow, he just stands up, he just tries to shepherd Conte Sal out, and he, he forces him to put a, a cross in with, which it weren't dangerous at all really, and Trafford cleans it up, but great defending there from Aarons. Madweke trying to play out with a 1-2 inside his own half. Portugal see it coming and clear the ball aerially towards the edge of the England penalty area, where it's mopped up first by Colwell, then Harwood Bellis. Through the gaps, he beats Bernardi to pick up Madweke. England seeing more possession now, 64 gone. Lead by a goal to nil, but 
second best in the second half Curtis Jones battling to win that ball in the midfield battle he's been penalised play has been stopped and the referee Radio Brenovic had a big long think about this and Morgan Gibbs White looks a little bit bemused here because Conseil Sau has gone down holding his toes it was Jones battling away I didn't see a lot in that Curtis Jones has played himself out of danger maybe he's just caught the Portugal man on the top of the boot referee has stopped play there is going to be a Portugal change now I'll get the thoughts of Jimmy Farty in a minute but Fabio Silva is going to come off and it'll be Tomás Aruju centre back who is uh, going to come on so that's an interesting one Fabio Silva centre forward taking off for Tomás Aruju who's a centre back I can't work that one out City bike on we keep the Portugal taken quickly down the line towards Bernardo on the byline turns inside Gordon puts it towards the back post England got to be careful Howard Dallas heads away from inside the six yard box picked up by Portugal run at their sails but still one behind crossfield ball towards Conseil Sao who's picked himself up running against Aarons gets the crossing on the left boot Aarons gets a flick on it that diverts it away from most of the trouble and in the end Curtis Jones can put boot to ball and slam it long and hard over the halfway line and it's a different England that more panicked England in this second half 65 gone they leave 1-0 yeah I mean it's a bit more ugly from England um, sometimes you've got to do that you know the main thing is that they win the game how you win the game it, it's irrelevant you know the main thing is that you do win the game and you get through to the next round but just some last ditch defending from England that's needed but they've got to do it um, Portugal have really upped it and so the swap was Enrique Arrugio not the other Arrugio who's buzzing around in the uh, Portugal penalty area plenty of activity on the bench but it is Enrique Arrugio who's going to be brought into the line that makes far more sense Fabio Silva Rules man brought off his race run in this quarter final on his place the Benfica centre forward on loan at Watford for the second half of this season from the Portuguese champions again another man has been brought on in all of the second halves so far and he won the penalty that ultimately won the game against Belgium and saw Portugal into this uh, quarter final with England 66 gone England leading by a goal to nil there's a man down in Portugal colours and so both play, sets of players are going to take a quick water break England are going to make a change and it looks like they've been forced into one because Jacob Ramsey has taken his left boot off now he's hobbled from the field that is a worrying sign England still prepping the replacement Emil Smith-Rowe looks like he's ready to come on that will be music to many years two goals so far in the competition and he will slot in Jacob Ramsey he's ready now Ramsey having already departed the field and so well in a couple of minutes and we're still got off for Enrique Rougeau for Portugal and we'll spend throw on for Jacob Ramsey for England the most important detail 67 minutes gone England leading by a goal to go scored by Anthony Gordon with 10 minutes to go in the first half and you're listening to Talk Sport 2 as Portugal on the defensive for a rare moment as England throw a route one ball into the path of Gordon but slightly over hit it's a throw in taken quickly by Alexandra Penetra Moru left sided centre back calls for a short option won't get one playing through the middle and trying to beat Emil Smith Rowe that's his first touch on halfway to intercept the pass Francis Sowers right on top of him did well to nick it back Dentesh picks it off him forward it goes over halfway towards Raul Nevis Portugal fanning out as they look to bring in the options they Carlos up by the corner flag against Aarons once more 68 gone England leading by a goal to nil but having to defend for much of this second period as Portugal after good work from Neil Smith throw a force back to the centre circle picked up 45 yards from the corner flag deep towards the edge of the penalty area quick through ball into the penalty area now cut back into the path of Enrique Rouge who couldn't get a shot away a quick free flowing move from Portugal with the England defence smart to it it's cleared long over halfway but still Portugal knocking on the door slender lead is England's 68 gone listening to Cameron Pope and Roma Lyonis his defender Gilly Flaherty on TalkSport 2 as Carlos looks to play down the line and it's a lovely ball towards Nevis gets the cross towards the back post Portugal man down the penalty area they want a penalty and it's been given against them England have a free kick won by Taylor Harwood Bellis and Enrique Rujo is incensed in the penalty area Thiago Dentis, the captain, is coming across and making that universal sign for VAR, which we do have at our disposal. Howard Bellis is yet to get back to his feet. He sat on the turf in the six-yard box. We're going to see a rerun of this now. It was whipped in from the near flank. It looked to be the England man who went down first. Does he take Enrique Rougeau with him? Referee, it seems, is 
have sided with the England man who's now being treated for crap by Anthony Gordon. The referee has a hand to his ear. There may, there may well be a VAR intervention. It's Paolo Valeri of Italy who is in the VAR booth. We're getting no information sent back to us. It's a waiting game. The players' hearts will be in their mouths. 69 and a half minutes gone. England won. Portugal nil. We're wanting to know what the uh, decision is going to be. And England I think they have a free kick. 20 minutes to go. The referee has just said, I believe, for the foul. It's not immediately clear what the foul was. Or how with Bellis, but England we will take it, Jelly Fertie. I think that would have been really harsh, you know, if he'd have gone to VAR and gone to a penalty because Harwood, uh, Harwood Bellis, I'm not too sure he even knows. Well, it's given away by Harwood Bellis on the edge of the England penalty area. Pedro Neto up towards the byline. Garner's done really well to get back in his way and then to swing a right boot at it and clear it. And now England looking to start the counter. 70 minutes gone, the lead 1 0. Smith Rowe, Fletcher Slays on the pitch, burning through the middle, 40 yards out. Has Madueke to his right, uses him. Men calling for it in the centre. Gordon and Gibbs White are in there. Plenty of Portugal shirts around Madueke, has to go away from goal. Here comes Angel Gomez, 40 yards out out tries to find uh, Morgan Gibbs White and has his back to goal and the, the stall now for England too many defenders in the way but they've got the ball away from the danger zone and that's more than they've been able to do for most of this second period 20 to go of normal time Gibbs White gives it away as he tries to link up with Gordon it's then lost by Portugal 30 yards out from their own goal John Nevish going down they'll take a quick uh, free kick but Max Aarons has gone down for his part in that and the referee seeing the Norwich man in trouble has stopped play and will allow him time for treatment if he needs it. So 71 gone. He will lead by a goal to nil. And uh, Aarons is just caught. Portugal oh. player right on the top of the boot. We've seen that. Or maybe on the on the toe. It's always a painful one. He's hurt himself going down too. He will bring himself back gingerly to his feet. And if the yellow card wasn't caused for Carsley to remove him, might the England boss be thinking of it now that he's walking wounded? Yeah, I mean, you can see the sub ball as well moving in the background on the bench. So... You'd like to think potentially they'll take him off if he is at a risk of an injury or, or a second yellow. Or it comes for Portugal. They're still trying to call the way back into the game. Cross comes in from Neto, too close to the England goalkeeper. And Trafford drops onto all fours once again. One of the standout goalkeepers from this tournament. Still yet to be beaten after close to four games. And catches like that are his bread and butter. Played long by England. Deep into the Portugal half. There's 18 minutes of normal time remaining. Listening to Cameron Pope and former Lionesses centre half Jenny Flaherty on Talksport 2. As forward, Portugal will come 40 yards out. Paulo Bernardo out to the left hand side. Here comes the cross. Up towards the edge of the penalty area. Had a goal with against the crossbar by Aruju. And England will slam that ball clear. Portugal will have the throw in. Danger not over yet. England's biggest scare of the night so far. 72 gone. They lead by a goal to nil. But the header from Enrique Aruju rattling the frame of James Trafford's goal. Yeah, Ruja does fantastic there to get that header on target. Obviously, here's the crossbar, much to England's relief, but Portugal really growing into this, and England need to stay switched on. Dentesh coming forward, trying to find Aruju again. It's picked off by Harwood Bellis, and then Aruju takes a bit out of the England man as he clears that ball. Harwood Bellis, he's taken his fair share of knocks so far. And he'd already released that ball on the right foot before. And Luke Aruju had gone in his way and sent him down to ground in England with some well-needed respite. In the second half, it was a glancing header that skimmed away from Trafford. The England goalkeeper, for once beaten, it hit smack square onto the frame of the goal. Rebounded, thankfully, to safety from an England perspective, and they were able to fish that ball out for a goal kick. We are now going to see Max Aarons replaced. No surprises there. He will miss the semi-final if England get there. It's going to be Ben Johnson, so a like-for-like -like swap. The West Ham man coming on. He's played at both flanks so far in this tournament. And Cole Palmer... He's going to come on as well for England. He's replacing Noni Madueke. What do we make of that then? He's played in a few different positions over his fledgling career and he's been used at central midfield so far in this tournament. A man who seems to do a bit of everything. Yeah, it's always great to have versatile players like that in the squad. Obviously with the Max Aarons one substitute, we, we was calling for it, you know, for the last 10-15 minutes. Be safe about it. Ben Johnson's coming on, who, who played on both the left and the right flanks as well. Uh, but England just need to stay switched on, you know. It's coming to the latter stage of the game now and like I said, Portugal really coming into the game and they need to, they need to be on it. 16 minutes of normal time remaining. England have now made three changes from two stoppages, which means they've got two more they can use, but they can only do them in one fell swoop. It goes to extra time and Portugal get back into this game. There will be more subs allowed to be used, but 
for the moment, England are keeping as this Baran sets it back. England and James Trafford's crossbar. It will be Trafford from the dead ball to kick high into the air after 74 minutes. Slender lead for the Young Lions, looking to set up a semi final, which will be live on Top Sport 2 on Wednesday night at 5 pm against Israel. The team they've beaten already in Group C as Johnson gets his first touch and up and under on the pressure from Raul Nevish. Trying to clear that ball away and the pressure from uh, Conte Sal made a good job of it. Conte Sal puts himself into the line of duty once again against Ben Johnson, but the England man this time allows it to run out for a throw in. Takes it short to Curtis Jones and plays it back into his defensive reach. Just cleared by Colwell onto a Portugal shirt. It's Dentes to win it. Flicks it backwards and then forwards in a 1 2. Now he turns, opens up some play for Portugal. Trying to play their way back into this game. Nevish out to the near side, right flank. Conte Sowers attacking, cuts it back up the line. Zay Carlos turns too easily away from Anthony Gordon. England looking a tad stretched. Everyone now getting behind the ball. Still leading by a goal to nil on Talk Sport 2. Here's Tavares. The gunner picks out a pass forward. Dentesh now into the penalty area. Man on the overlap. Cut across goal. Hits Trafford. And cleared by Taylor Harwood Bellis. In fact, it's going to be kept in as well by Cole Palmer. And just as well because Tavares was coming across to close the angle. Portugal have won it back. It's bounced past. Pedro Neto, Tavares is the man who will keep that alive and eventually Palmer gets the touch and deflects it for a Portugal throw and every time now that seems to be added venom in these Portugal attacks. Yeah and Trafford has been fantastic now, he's like a brick wall back there but with England they just need to get higher, they're dropping deeper and deeper allowing Portugal to go higher on them but they need to step out, they need to be brave, stop inviting Portugal into your final third. Are you nervous yet? 14 minutes of normal time remaining. England looking for their first semi-final appearance since 2017. Got to the final that year, lost to Germany, go on the defensive again. There would have been if it had been a better ball. Stretched pass through the Lions into Pedro Neto, but it skips away from the Wolves man. So much talent on either flank now with him and, and Sisku Conseil South. The Ajax, it's gone behind and England have a few moments to eat up. They lead by a goal to nil, scored by Anthony Gordon. Ten minutes to go of normal time in the first half. Brilliant build up play culminating in a cutback from Morgan Gibbs-White all the Kings men involved and England the happiest side at the break but Portugal are doing their utmost to cause problems the long ball goes over the top and Anthony Gordon's lost a boot as he went for an aerial ball and, uh, his right kick has flown off and the referee quite sportingly and sensibly has stopped play and allowed him to redress himself chance for England to take a breather they've been doing most of the running in this second period still heading for the semi-final against Israel which will be on Wednesday night at 5 on top spot 2 if they can hold out for a little under a quarter of an hour in the Georgian evening long crossfield ball from Portugal up towards the edge of the penalty area Arujo was waiting for it England will clear it away Neil Smith Rowe picking it up halfway inside his own half plays it out to the right to Cole Palmer the tall figure back to the edge of the defensive third with Garner. It's up to Palmer again, but it's pinched off him. And now Portugal trying to come forward. Loose ball into the path of Gomez. He tries to clear, but it's looped up off Bernardo. And now here comes Pedro Neto. Left on side gets a cross in. Cole with a header clear. Still a Portugal man landing underneath it. Trying to move it out to this near side right. Attacking with Conce Sal. Trying to dribble away from Anthony Gordon. He's shown too much to the Newcastle man. Good play by Gordon. Bought the foul. England have a free kick on the edge of their penalty area. They lead 1-0. Yeah, Gordon does really well there to win the free kick from England. But what you're noticing is England might be winning the first ball, but Portugal win the second ball. You know, England need to start winning those second balls. They need to get closer together. They need to stay switched on. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're dominating it. England they are dominating defensively. They're, they're, there's nothing wrong with that. But they need to be alive better for the second balls. 78 gone. Cameron Pope and Gilly Flaherty. From the Chelsea, Arsenal, West Ham, Liverpool defender. As Cole will place a flat ball out of defence, up towards Morgan Gibbs White, but it rather bounces off him towards the Portuguese captain. And Dentesh turns, plays it forward to Joao Nevis. The slight midfielder plays it out to the right hand side. Now there's a crossing opportunity for Zay Carlos, had it clear by England. Gordon is fortuitously underneath it, got away from Dentish. He's immediately closed down though. And Portugal have won it back, although they've lost some yards. And they're back inside their own half. I can see Oliver Skip is getting ready to come on for England. And a man gone down here, Francisco Conceição. And a bat on the left-hand side with Ben Johnson. A yellow card comes out and he will now miss the next round if England get there. So Max Aarons, the man he replaced, is out for two yellow cards. And ben Johnson, it looks, has caught the Portugal man going through. He's been brought on 
but a trial of 20 minutes and he too will be out to the semi-final against Israel if England get there, Julie Flarty. That's another big blow, but I mean, it, it's clever from Conte Sal as well because he knows how to draw these fouls. He knows how to play on it as well and, and that draws the referee's attention to it, but again, it'll be, it'll be a big loss for England if they do go through. England making what will have to be a final set of changes for the 90 minutes. They're withdrawing Angel Gomez. Oliver Skip is going to come on. Vastly experienced in this age group. 21 caps. The second most of anyone, and they'll be looking to their experienced heads now, England. But 90 minutes against Germany, but has been used as a sub in all the games apart from that. And he's on for the final 10 minutes of normal time. England. Leading by a goal to nil, but very much on the defensive. How long can they hold out? Alexandra Penetra on the ball for Portugal. Switches towards the far side Portuguese left with Nuno Tavares. England with 11 men steadfastly behind the ball. The clock is ticked 80. Schengelia Arena. England on the ground on which they beat Israel. Trying to set up a semi-final against the same team. They'll be down the coast in Batumi on Wednesday night if... They can hang on here, and hanging on they are. Nevis, 50 yards out, near side the Portugal right. Ends it infield. Tavares, wide in the Portuguese left. Crosses deep towards Trafford, who had to come for it, claimed it, wins the ball, and after much protestation from Harwood Bellis, wins the free kick for England. Yeah, that's fantastic as well. It's brilliant from, from Trafford. He's, so, he's such a huge presence, you know, but that's what you want from your goalkeeper. But what you want to notice about England is that when the ball goes backwards or sideways from Portugal, they're not stepping with it. They stand deep. You're basically inviting Portugal to put the ball into your box. I mean, Trafford deals with it fantastically. He's brave when he comes through players, but the higher the back line is, the more space Trafford's got to come and claim them balls. With the early goals in the group, England were always in a, you felt, a, a good position, a comfortable position in Group C. Now that the, the balance has been set back to naught and it's knockout football, is that is that nerve just coming in a late part? Oh, in fact, I'm going to get Jelly Sports in a minute because the ball's been given away by England. Into the penalty area from Portugal, can't find Enrique Rujo. It was skitted away from him by Levi Colwell. Portugal pick it up near side there, right. Deep crossing from Zay Carlos. There are men in the centre, headed clear by Garner. It's going to come back, though. Neto is the man to scamper over the left to win it. England leading by a goal to nil. Eight and a half of normal time remaining on Talk Sport 2. Here's Dentish. 45 yards out for Portugal. Carlos lets it run onto his right foot. Corner of the area. Conceição up against Johnson. Crosses towards the back post. Tavares heads down. Saved by the goalkeeper. And England with a big collective sigh of relief. 82 gone on Talk Sport 2. They still lead by a goal to nil. They are living very, very risky. It's heart in mouth moments here. But England have just got to be sensible about it. You don't need to be playing out from the back and bringing yourself into trouble was so late on in the game take your time no it's all that game management now and be sensible and that's when you need the leadership and the experience as well to go listen don't muck about with it put the ball long and turn portugal we'll start from a drop ball into the hands thankfully for england for uh, james trafford about seven and a half minutes of normal time remaining in this one all being well if it stays like this. Coming up next on Top Spot 2 on a live PGA Tour goal. There's a foul and halfway in Portugal. We've got their first yellow card of the night. Morgan Gibbs White has been brought down. And referee, well, Morgan Gibbs White looks like he's in a bit of pain here. It wasn't immediately clear if it was a powerful challenge, but it maybe seemed the landing that was an awkward one. It's Zay Carlos who came in with a foul. He picks up the yellow card and he, if Portugal were to turn this around, would miss the semi-final against Israel. So that's three full-backs, two for England, all of whom will be suspended if their team progress. And well, I think it was just the pace that Gibbs White was going. He was on the left flank, traversing the halfway line. He was caught on the ankle and then sent flying off the field of play, such as his force. Painful one for him. England have the free kick, which they will take quickly but not well. Go across field from left to far side there, right towards Palmer, who loses out with Pedro Neto and now Neto will skin inside and out as he moves into the England half England leading by a goal to nil 83 and a half minutes on the clock as it's spread near side the Portugal right Zay Carlos now sporting that yellow card down the line towards Raul João Neves tries to turn inside the England man Colwell back away to the fringes of the attacking third Portugal still looking to work their way back into this game Conte Sao cross on the right foot strong one Clapper's come for it he's not got there and it's hit Neto on its way through and bounced out behind 
for an England goal kick. 84 gone. Young Lions lead by a goal to nil. You can see Trafford then. He makes the decision to come. You can see he's stretching so, so high, hoping to get a touch on it. But thankfully, it hits off the Portuguese player and goes out for a goal kick. But it's a, it's a close one. It's a close one then. And he's six foot six, James Trafford. Not much evades him in the air, but he was stretching for that one. So too was Pedro Neto. And the uh, Wolves man was able to keep that ball in play. I don't think he quite realised that it, uh, it had beaten the England goalkeeper. And now James Trafford is going to be uh, awarded a yellow card by the Slovenian referee. Time wasting the colloquial name. Unsportsmanlike conduct is what you'll find in the Book of Law. By the way, he and England are five minutes of normal time plus extras away from the semi final on Wednesday night against Israel. Under 21 European Championships. Live, one talk spot to Portugal in possession just inside the England half. They're looking for a route to goal but won't find one. And instead they'll go back inside their own half of the field towards Zay Carlos. Switches it to the left hand side to Varish. They're prepping a change, Portugal. I think you can see Diego Moreira recently signed by Chelsea. But the ball still very much in play. And it's as Esperanza on the attack. 45 yards out in a central berth. Move near side the Portugal right towards Zay Carlos. Receives it from Conceição. England again with 11 men behind the ball. It's a familiar pattern now as they defend their first half lead. Tavares ships out to the left hand side over Cole Palmer. Neto crosses into the penalty area. There are red shirts there. Cole will get there first. Has it clear? Carlos has to control. Takes the sting out of it with the first touch but plants the second right onto the chest of Emil Smith throw. And England have got a free kick right on the edge of their penalty area. Again, expertly won. And they're managing this game well. It has to be said, they've not seen much of the Portugal goal in this second period as Portugal do make that change. It is going to be the new Chelsea man, Diego Moreira, they bring on. And they're bringing off, and this is an interesting one, Jimmy. They're bringing off Francisco Conceição, and I think along with Neto, the other winger, he's been their best player. Yeah, I think he's been brilliant in this second half. I think he's really brought uh, Portugal hard to pitch. Near enough, every attack and every chance that Portugal have created has come through him, so... I'm not too sure about that one. I don't know why you would take off one of your best players, but that just uh, plays into England's hands. So we've had eight, six and a half minutes. Oliver Skip was uh, on the wrong end of his leg, Carlos' shoulder, and went down on the edge of his penalty area. He's been sorted out, but he'll have to come off the field temporarily, been aided by the England medical staff. You're listening to Cameron Pope and the former Lionesses defender, Jilly Flaherty, on TalkSport 2. Don't forget all your... Women's World Cup football, England and Ireland persuasion coming away from the second, the 22nd of July. Starting with England versus Haiti on Saturday morning at 10.30. But right now, we're thinking about the end of 21s, and it's a backs-to-the-wall performance in this second half. They lead 1-0, three minutes of normal time remaining. Smith Rowe picks it up, right chance for England here. 30 yards out, Gordon, oh, tame effort. But it did force a save out of Selton B.I. He hit it on the right boot, maybe didn't get a clean connection. It was rolling along the turf at a slow speed, and the stopper easily equal to it England and their chance as well they've been few and far between in this second period still a goal to the good on talk sport too don't go anywhere PGA Tour goal coming up afterwards the Rocket Mortgage Classic in Detroit hosted by Russ Hargreaves can they plan anything Portugal here with the new man Moreira plays in towards the uh, centre forward Arugia, who goes down on the edge of the penalty area and it will be a free kick. And you know, the referee took a long time to throw the arms out there. There's been a couple of simulations so far, but this one he deems is a Portugal chance. And it's been won by Enrique Rujo right on the edge of the England penalty area. 88 gone. England lead 1-0. And it's Colwell coming into the back of the uh, centre forward who's given it away. Yeah, it's silly from Colwell. He's the wrong side of Rujo. You know, he, he's gone past you. There's literally no need for you to try and win that ball. You had Harwood Bellis alongside him. He was comfortable enough and won the possession. But, again, it's a dangerous position, position for uh, Portugal. So, 88 minutes gone. In fact, it's 88 and change now. We're ticking closer to the magical 90. Will that be the end of it? As it stands, England setting up a semi-final in these under-21 Euros against Israel. But they have to withstand a Portugal free kick. Neto stood over on the edge of the area. Tavares. Dentist too. England have... Four men in the wall have been joined. There are a couple of Portugal players too. There's a draft excluder in the form of Morgan Gibbs-White. Portugal have been pushing England all the way in the second period. England, who haven't conceded yet at these finals, can they hold 
as Esperanza is out. Referee is still not happy with the wall. He wants it moved further to the left, to the right and forward. England will say, well, it can be further back. And they're happy with where they are. Portugal set up a pseudo wall in front. Three Portuguese men stand over this free kick. Now into the final minute. It's going to be laid off. Pedro Neto into the wall. Pedro Neto spoons it wide. 90th minute of the game. England withstand another test. Neto looks bewildered to the sky. We are ticking towards added time and England are ticking towards the semi-finals. Yeah, it just seemed like Neto was trying to hit it into the bottom corner um, around the wall, but it's a waste of a chance for Portugal. It's, it's, it's a poor attempt in all honesty, but they should be doing better there. Portugal are using their third substitution break. It's their fourth still of the match, and it is Neto who is going to come off. He's going to be replaced by Vitinha. The Wolves' ears might have uh, pick, picked up there. It's not the midfielder who spent the 2021 season on loan at Wolves. This is a striker who graduated from the Braga Academy. Captain the under 19 side before he's now with Marseille. And he's on for six minutes of added time. Six minutes that England have to hold out on Talksport to. Cameron Pope and Jilly Flarty on commentary as England grind out, and it will have been ground out route to the semi-finals. Lee Carsley offering instructions to Ben Johnson who takes the throw in halfway inside the Portuguese half. Will Smith throw is up and after it but heads out of play. And they won't mind, they'll get back into position as they Carlos rushes the throw in. Goes back to Penetra. Penetra with a rush clearance right down the throat of Skip who lumps the ball 60 yards downfield. It bounces out but the ball kids have come to Portuguese rescue. Another one has been thrown freshly into the hands of Selton behind. So we'll start with the dead ball. 50 seconds. Over six minutes of added time elapsed. England leading by a first half goal to nil. Courtesy of Anthony Gordon. And now battling is Moreira. Down the near side Portuguese right, but he gives it away. It's run back by Johnson. Back into the England defensive reaches and slammed up field by Levi Cole. There's no one to challenge the drop. Now Cole Palmer will challenge Amaru. Amaru's got there first. Muscles Cole Palmer off the ball. And referee and said that the England man has been overzealous there and the free kick has been given we're into the second minute of added time in this UEFA European under 21 championship quarter final Israel awaiting the winners which at the moment will be England in the next round England trying to press forward they've won it back in the lump in the ball forward over the top looking for Anthony Gordon but he won't chase it and nor does he try to England trying to protect what they have Still one up in Katayse. Portugal bringing it over halfway. Dentesh whips it to the left-hand side. Tavares keeps it in play with a header. Up against Palmer. Now he's got Curtis Jones to deal with. And he cuts it back away from goal. There might be a chance for if he can get this ball across. But it's a lovely tackle coming in from Garner. England have won it back. Anthony Gordon looks like he's pulled up lame as he tries to walk that ball out of defence. He's gone down. England have no subs left to make in 90 minutes. Portugal win that back and they do at least put the ball out of play. And Anthony Gordon who puffs and huffs in the centre of the England half is going to have to catch a breather and see if he can last out the remaining three and a half minutes of added time and I think really it's cramp yeah you're hoping this cramp you see him getting stretched out by the Portuguese player um, but yeah I mean, he's, he's run a lot tonight especially in the second half when England haven't really had the ball he's had to do a lot of off the ball running um, which he's done for his team but now about with England it's just game management you know be silly with don't be silly with it you know win the tackles play, play over the top Go and walk for throw-ins and, and, and just be a bit more bit, bit more of a, uh, sensible with it, you know, so it's just so late in the game. Can England manage this out? 93 minutes gone, we'll play to at least 96. Listening to Cameron Pope and former Lionesses centre-half Jilly Flarty on Talk Sport 2. England, minutes away from the semi-final with Israel. That will be on Wednesday night at 5pm. You'll be able to listen to that on TalkSpot 2. But Portugal might have something to say. It's been given away by Dentes, though. And now England with a, ray, with a rare foray over halfway. Palmer, he's got no one in white around him. He's going straight for the corner. England has still got the best part of three minutes to outlast. He takes it up towards the corner flag. Tavares is behind him. Well played by Cole Palmer to wrap it into the shins of the oncoming midfielder. Bernardo out for England throwing. Something tells me, Julie Flassi, they wouldn't be in any rush to take it. And that's what I'm talking about, the game management. You know, he's, he picks the ball up, Palmer. He sees that no one's around him. He's got no support from any England players. He just goes to the corner. He's still looking around, trying to find someone. He hasn't got anyone, so he plays it off a Portuguese defender for a throw-in. England have just done the same thing again as well. Palmer waiting for Bernardo. Taps it off his shin. England have managed to eat up 
four of the six added minutes. They lead by a goal to nil. Anthony Gordon, the scorer, seems a lifetime ago. Just after the half hour mark. In the corner it is with Cole Palmer trying to battle with Thiago Dentes. And Dentes has hit it off the Manchester City man and also managed to win a dead ball. So England's resistance in the corner short lived as Portugal quickly play out from the back. We've seen less and less of the England goal in the twilight of this game, but it has really been all Portugal in the second half, but they're starting to make mistakes now. Amaru putting that ball straight out of play as he looked to pick out Zay Carlos. It's wasteful from Portugal. And Captain Dente shakes his head. They know this opportunity is passing them by. They've been bridesmaids so many times in this tournament. Three times. They have fallen short at the final hurdle, but they're a long way from getting there. And it looks to be England who will be setting up that semi-final with Israel. A mitt and a quarter left of the stipulated added time at Schengelia Arena as Howard Bellis clears forward up towards Gordon. Gordon's got on the end of this, into the penalty area. Mill Smith-Rowe, right edge of the box, looking for Anthony Gordon. Here comes Mill Smith-Rowe on the turn, beats one, beats two, 18-yard box to Mill Smith-Rowe. Oh, he just ran out of steam and there were too many men around him. And Portugal, in the form of Juan Neves, get back and tap that ball towards their goalkeeper, Selton Bly. Deep into the final minute of six added. England can taste the semi-final. They've conceded a throw on halfway. Everyone getting back into their defensive positions. Gordon and the Neil Smith throw after their jaunt forward. The ball just inside the Portugal half of the field. 30 seconds left of the six added. England one. Portugal nil. Everybody predictably behind the ball in white shirts. Alexandra Penetra, forward to Zay Carlos, near side the Portugal right, 40 yards out, floats across him, dealt with by Harwood Bellis, who's going to get to it, Tavares is the answer, 30 yards out, on the right foot, up against Cole Palmer, tries a shot from distance, it wasn't far away, but it's over the bar, and there's a rapturous round of applause from Taylor Harwood Bellis, he knows that by the time this ball has been fished out from the back of the cavernous Shangali Arena, England will be a good half a minute closer to a semi-final with Israel, and James Trafford watched that one with the lights as it soared over his crossbar. The 96 minutes are up. Goal kick to be taken by Trafford. England leading by a goal to nil in this quarter final. He kicks high and long over halfway. Referee waiting for now. It's cleared by the Portuguese defence. Upfield towards Iruju. Tries the aerial battle, won't win it. Referee has a look at the watch. Whistle goes to his lips. And England have done it. They are into the semi-finals of the European Under-21 Championship. They have beaten Portugal in Katoisi. And they will travel down to Batumi on Wednesday night for a rematch with Israel. They will fight to reach the final. And their first 2009. Lee Carsley's boys have suffered cramp. They've sat deep. They've faced an onslaught in red and green. But to a man, they have stood tall and stood to the test. Their toughest challenge yet, but it is the Young Lions who advance in Georgia. England have beaten Portugal by a goal to nil.